looking like. What's up, Kiki Squad, and welcome back to Simply Kenna. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I definitely am. Today, we are going to be doing passion twist braids on our natural hair. Now, I am here today to teach you how to do hairstyle so that you don't have to spend extra money to go to the hairdresser now i'm not trying to take out all of the hairdresser's money <laughs> or the hairstylist's money but you know it's good to have a skill and also around this quarantine time in so many parts of the world a lot of you cannot go to the hairdresser so it is best that you learn how to do your own hair so as i learn to do my own hair i teach you guys how to do your own hair and i hope that you enjoy this video which i know you will because passion twist seems just like it's the in hairstyle right now. <laughs> Before I continue, let's just pause for a moment and let's subscribe to Simply Kenna YouTube channel. So I'm going to give you like five seconds to subscribe if you haven't. So if you're looking at this, you're listening to me right now, just pause this video and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. And also give this video a thumbs up because you are going to enjoy it <laughs> okay let's get into the video so if you notice my hair has already been parted and I already have in some twists now I usually do this if you notice in my jumbo box braids I basically did the exact thing where I parted my hair rubber band it and I had my hair in twists it just makes the process a lot easier to me and I would also suggest that you do this a day before you actually plan to put in the passion twist so day one you are going to just part your hair. You can part them from air to air. Going straight, part them. And then you just section off your hair as big or as small as you desire. And you part them whether you want triangular parts, you want box, box, box parts, or whatever parts you want. You just do whatever tickles your fancy. And you rubber band them. So first, after sectioning off your hair, you ensure that you get some good rubber bands. Very good rubber bands, strong rubber bands. And I have about 33 or 34 twists in my hair. Total, because I know sometimes that, that's important. I usually want to know how much twists people have in their hair when I'm looking at hair videos. So I have about 30 something twists. This is what they are looking like. And just in case you want to do them just like mine, this is how much I have at a particular section. So after our banning the hair, you make sure your hair is moisturized and <clears throat> put something in your hair that will keep your hair soft and moisturized. You could use any moisturizing cream. I love this one. I didn't put this in, but I do love this. Because I've told you guys about this several times, you know, get it. <laughs> and then at the base of each, like for instance, right here, you're going to add either jam, gel, edge control, or a pomade. I use the Style Factor Edge Booster, and this is in the lime scent. It smells so good. I use this to sleek this section while I grip and put it in the rubber band because you want that shine and you want that hold as well and then after that i just two strand twist my hair and then i went to sleep and now it's the next day where i am going to unravel each twist and add the passion twist or do passion twist now the braids that i got i got several braids <laughs> let me show you guys i have five or six packs i do not know how much i'm going to need but i will tell you at the end of the video how much i did use So this is what one pack look like, looks like. This is Water Wave and this is the Realistic Beauty Element Jamaican Roots Original Premium Hair. And this is Water Wave, the color is number two. But I also have, I think I have another color. I have this as well, which is number, I don't know. But I have this one, which is a different color. And this is also, as you could see, Passion Twist Style. So I have about five of these. Actually, no, I don't. I got these first, which is the kinky coil. So I'm going to do the kinky coil in the back and then put these in the front. Because this is what I really wanted, the water wave, but this is what I saw originally. So I'm going to kind of mix them. 
So I'm going to do a one or two off camera and then come back on to ensure that, you know, I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I've done a few off camera because I really needed to get the hang of this. So I have done these three off camera. Let me show you them. Let me show you them from the back. That's what they're looking like. So I used for each braid, I used about five to six individual um, braids or pieces. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, the more strands you take or pieces you take, the thicker your braid is going to be. So the less you take, the smaller they're going to be. And because I have my hair parted about medium size, I want them. This is the perfect length. And I did show you two types of braids the water wave and the afro kinky i'm currently using so this is the water wave which has a looser pattern but i'm currently using the afro i think it's kinky coil it's called let me see i'm currently using this the kinky coil and this is what it looks like out of the package i'll show you guys the water wave when i reach to using them and this is what the curl pattern looks like when you are braiding them. It's a tight curl and I really like it. And it's actually quite simple. So you take down a braid or a twist and you unravel it. Now the beauty about doing this the night before is that your hair already has a curl pattern to it which would help with the twisting. So the first thing you do, take these, split them in two. So I've used six, so I have three on one hand, three on the other, and then I'm going to, um, what do you call it, intertwine, as if you're going to do a braid. So, I do this. Okay, they're tangled at the bottom. All right, okay, what did I do? Oh, and then we have like a little, you know when you're braiding, you know, you know, I can explain, you know, when you have this. So what I'm going to do now, is take this and place it you guys could see place it right here and I'm going to use my hair as the third braid so you're going to act as if you're braiding so you have this on one side this on the other side and my hair is going to be the third braid and we're just going to braid a regular braid about three down so this is one two three and then we're going to now take my hair and split it evenly into the two and let me start to twist just twist tightly and twist going down let's take your time And let me show you an example of one of them that didn't curl as nicely as the others. So these three curled nice. This one did not. So sometimes you actually have to take it out and redo it and twist in the other. Let me show you one more time. You take out the braid, take out the twist, I keep saying braid. 
you take five to six individual pieces depending on how large or small you want them And then you separate them in half and then you intertwine to create a knot and then use your hair as the third braid so you place it here in the middle and you use your hair as the third braid and you begin braiding downward. And you think you have, six, you know, braiding enough, maybe like three, four down. You split your hair in two and then you start to braid downward. Well, twist downward. I add cream to make it easier are a smoother transition for the slip. No, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to braid this way or this way. So I'm going to go down a bit braiding this way and see what it looks like. Cause sometimes you have no clue which way is the correct. Okay, so I've finished all of the others off camera and this is what they are looking like. This is what the passion twists are looking like. I left this one to show you the water wave. And before I braid this last one, I would tell you that there is a big difference between using the kinky coil and the water wave. The kinky coil gave a lot of trouble. While the twist is beautiful, you have to you could twist it the wrong way as you saw in the previous uh, clip you could twist it the wrong way and you have to unravel it and do it over there was one um section i literally had to do probably six times because the twist wasn't being done right so it is time consuming because of that and you just never know if you're twisting it right or wrong um with the water wave it is much easier to apply you don't have to care if you're twisting right around you just twist it and that's that and that's the water wave these are the ones in the front this is the water wave so this is less time if you use water wave and you don't have to wonder if you're twisting right around you just twist and you get your passion twist however and oh with these with the other one i told you i used about five or six per section to braid with the water wave i used two and i just kind of fluffed it out fluffed out each piece so it would be more voluminous and then applied it to my hair however this would not last very long so the kinky coil would last longer than using the water wave Passion twist using the water wave is a style I would say up to two weeks, three weeks max. I don't see this hairstyle lasting a month. <laughs> don't even think about two months. These are not box braids or not less braids. So this is a hairstyle that would, for me, this is probably going to last a week. For the normal person, it would probably last like two weeks, three weeks tops. Right? And you can't reuse these because the most likely they would be tangled. So... This is a hairstyle I think you should learn to do on your own because you're going to spend a lot of money for a hairstyle that isn't going to stay in very long. So guys, learn to do passion twist on your own so you don't have to spend extra money to pay a hairdresser for a hairstyle that isn't going to last long. So what I do, and these kept slipping out. So there's a lot of problems with passion twists. Like why nobody told us this? <laughs> they fall out, you have to rebraid them. Um, the rubber band method, maybe you could do the crochet method, like crochet the hair in and then twist it as opposed to what i am doing but this is what i did so i'll just continue to show you i did this and then i continued and then i'm taking the other and braiding it and when i reach about maybe three braids down i'm going to 
twist it now this slips out a lot so you have to be so mindful that that doesn't slip out because you have to be rebraiding and rebraiding <sighs> yeah so while this style is cute there is a lot of hiccups along the way like you see look look right there exactly what i just stated <sighs> okay let me try this again there were so many different techniques that I used in this one braiding process to keep these from falling out, falling out. So this is really trial and error. It's a cute hairstyle when you're all done, but it can be frustrating. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It can be frustrating and it's not a style that's going to last long. And I don't think it's worth spending money to go to a hairdresser to do it. I think just learn to do this hairstyle and do it on your own. And when you're braiding this one, I don't braid tightly. I braid loose. I just kind of braid loosely. And then that's that. So you guys are going to like, this is like the finished look right here. So this is going to last me like maybe a week nine days tops i don't even think i'll carry this to two weeks yeah but i hope you guys were able to learn how to do passion twists using boat water wave and kinky coil i would definitely suggest using the water wave and not the kinky coil though the kinky coil would last longer because the texture as stated by the name is kinky which means it's tighter and it's more coarse so the longevity it would be it would last longer than the water wave which is more of a looser more synthetic silky feeling yes yeah, so i just braid down braid 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 and then this is what the passion twist is looking like Hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you have ever tried it or you're planning to try it in the comments below. Love you guys. God bless. Thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.